Hey guys, in this video, we're going to uh, create a program, a specifically a C program, um, that takes in a number in base 10 and an integer number, I should say, in base 10 and converts it to binary. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to include our library stdo.h. Uh, create our main function, main void. I'm going to create our integer, uh, our integer number. We're going to call it num. Maybe it'll be five. And let's go ahead and create my print statement. Print f the number five converted to binary is percent D. So I'm gonna put in our num here and a placeholder for our other value. Let's go ahead and run this. Save as a dot C program. I'm gonna call it to binary. And we see the number five converted to binary is zero. Okay. Let's go ahead and create our function. So this function is going to convert a number, convert a integer number in base 10 to binary. So uh, let's call it to binary. I'm going to take in an integer um, decimal number. And that's us declaring it up there. So now we've got to implement it down here. And we need a few base cases. So if um, the decimal number is, uh, uh, I want to put less than two then we can just return return that decimal number. So if it's 0 or 1, really, is what we want to return. Um, so we have to make sure that, and I'm going to put that here. So if the decimal number is 0 or 1, then return 0. Or one. Okay, so that's a good base case. Now we need our recursive case. I'll call that base case. Make this caps. Um, it's like clear code, okay. clear, easy to read code. So what we're going to do is we want to return to binary our decimal number divided by 2. So we're going to keep going through um, our loop here times 10 plus our remainder which is decimal number mod 2. And now let's go ahead and do our our create an integer value called num converted. And we're going to set it equal to our function to binary. And we're going to input num as the uh, decimal number. And let's print it out here. And let's see what we get. The number five converted binary is 101, which is good. Um, let's see the number 10. The number 10 converted to binary is 1010. So this seems to be working pretty well. Um, the only problem is if we were to put in a negative number, then you see the number negative one converted to binary is just negative one, which uh, isn't true. 
So this only works for, I'll put this here, works for integers greater than or equal to zero. And let's put in a zero. So we get back zero, which is true. Uh, one, we should get back one. Okay, so like is working. So thank you guys. In my next video, I'm going to put together um, my my fractions to binary and my integers to binary, so that we can input something like uh, 1.2 and get back the equivalent binary number. So thank you all. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.